What's going on YouTube Metal Complex here and today I've got another short little knife unboxing slash unpackaging to do with you guys. Uh, before we get started here, uh, a lot of you guys have been asking like, hey dude, why are all of your videos uploading in 360p quality? That sucks. Yeah, it does suck. Um, and I've been trying to kind of just address people as they ask the question, but I know a lot more of you aren't asking it and are probably thinking, you know, what's going on. So here's what's happening. As soon as I upload the video, you know, it'll, it'll go through the uploading process and then there's a processing, uh, time period. And then once it completes that, the video gets uploaded. It's not actually fully processing these videos in 1080p. It's processing them up to 360 and then it continues to process the video for anywhere from two hours to a whole day before it might be accessible in that quality. By that time, most of my subscribers have already watched the video. Now, back when it was only taking like two hours, it seemed like a while back it was only taking a couple hours. I was like, eh, it'll be fine. Most people will watch it after that. Now that it's taking like a whole day, um, it's, it's something I need to address. So um, here's what I'm gonna do from now on. You guys won't notice any difference in my flow of content. I will preload the, vi the videos the day before um, and then um, they'll sit there basically in limbo until they have completely processed and then I will switch the video uh, to public as soon as it's ready and you should be able to view everything in 1080p. This video in particular is my first trial run of this. This video was recorded, um, I guess, two days ago, your time, and then uploaded yesterday, your time. Right now, this is, of course, all happening in my time. And it will sit overnight as unlisted, and then it will be listed as public as soon as 1080p becomes available. So hopefully you're able to watch this in HD right away. Anyways, two minutes in, we haven't uh, gotten this thing open yet, so let's go ahead and get that done. But not with that knife, with this knife, because that's what we have to do. Um, this knife is definitely from the Pass Around Group, so whatever is in this package um, was originally sent by the manufacturer. Oh, and inside this package we have a box. And let me make sure there's no addresses on there. Uh, nothing that uh, will give anything away. Just a name on there. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and open this up. All right. Are you guys ready to see some serious unboxing skills? Here's what we do. We just kind of saw into it like that. See, look at this cut. Perfectly straight. No jagged edges. That's how you do that. I could only do it with the power of the Lady of the Sea. Imbued with, what, 40 boxes now? Just, just just getting stronger as the day goes on. We have another Bestec knife. Let's go ahead and open this up real quick here and find out what's in here. I love Bestec so far. All right. I never know the exact models, but this feels about the same heft and look. Not the same look, but the same heft as the Lion. Oh, yeah. Big fan of the shape of that flipper tab there. Really kind of like that aggressive Warncliffe as well. This is from their budget line, so it's going to be G10 and likely D2. Yeah, D2. Nice tumbled finish on there. Uh, a little bit of a liner lock. Um, perfect centering. So everything looks really, really great. You have that typical best deck front side pivot there, and then you have the Torx bit. Excuse the door there. That's my wife coming in. Um, and then we've got a, I think I said a tumbled finish on there. Um, some nice, uh, looks like horizontal lines as you would hold the knife. You know, some people might say they're vertical. Horizontal lines on the G10 um, coming down, sort of making this smoother part of the G10 a faux bolster style um, scale, I guess. Uh, you have a nice G10 backspacer in between the liners. The liners do come out to the lips. Looks like they are milled a little bit. This is kind of nice, solid feel to it. It makes me, it really makes me think a lot of the line. I have to imagine a lot of their budget line is is that way and i really really like that um i just now realized there is a spot up here for your finger so i really oh, yeah this is uh this is looking pretty positive i'm going to spend some time with it so i can tell you guys what i actually think uh after a while but in any case oh there you go there's the name of it right there the barracuda so in any case that's going to be pretty much it for today's unboxing guys i hope you enjoyed this video and again i hope you're watching it in 1080p right now we'll see um, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like. So check that stuff out. And if you enjoy all my content, then please subscribe to my channel because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching and have a great day.